why use React for game development? So React.js is a library for making UIs. It's primarily used in front-end web development, but its application is not limited to this domain. In fact, the React we know in web dev can be viewed as two components, React and React DOM, the later taking care of rendering the UI in your browser. Because of this split, it's very possible to use React without React DOM. A prime example of this would be React Native, which enables the usage of React for making mobile apps. It's important to realize that apps made with React Native are not web views that are then packaged as mobile apps. So if you wanted to do something like that, you would use something like Capacitor.js, which actually wraps a web view as a mobile app. With React Native, instead of using the usual div and h1 elements and other HTML elements, what you do is you use special tags like view text scroll view that are then rendered as native UI elements on the respective mobile OSs, so iOS and Android. So why did I bring up React Native? Uh, just to tell you that when I wanted to investigate why and if and how to use React for game dev, I came across two options. The first one would be to use React as a way to render your game graphics in the same way that React Native renders your views and text, etc. to the native platform, or using React only as a UI layer on top of an existing game. So the context of using React for game dev is really in the context of web game development, where you're using HTML canvas for your graphics. So those are the two options I wanted to explore. And here are my findings. So if you want to use React to render your game graphics, uh, similarly to React Native, there are two options, two major options that you can go with. You could use React 3 Fiber, which allows you to basically build 3D scenes using React and 3JS. So you're using 3JS within React. And because of that, you have access to elements like mesh, box geometry that you can use and compose your scenes. So you could go about making your games like this. It is possible, and I have seen some examples. That there is a game jam specific to React called React Jam. And if I remember correctly, maybe I will be able to put something on, on the screen. I've, there was a 3D game where you played as a like a 3D platformer, and it was a very simple game. Now for 2D, the only viable options I've found is Pixie React. That's it. And it allows you to, like the name implies, use Pixie.js within React. So you use elements like stage, container, sprites, etc. to make your uh, 2D scenes. So those elements are rendered within the canvas as graphics. So those are the two ways. Now for Pixie React, the documentation is pretty sparse. React 3 Fiber is well known though. Uh, but regarding Pixie React, it's th the development is active, I think. So I would like to explore making games with these tools, but for the time being, they don't fit with my goals. I want to make 2D games relatively quickly. And if I went with something like Pixie React, I would have to write my own collision logic or pull a library or write my own camera system, etc., which is going to amount to a considerable amount of work. And I don't see the benefit in that, considering the second option of using just React for the UI aspect of your game which is still a viable way to use React for game development because the alternative is just to make your UI within your canvas in your whatever canvas API or library you're using. So maybe in the future, someone will invent a React game framework where you're able to have a bunch of tools for making games within React as well. So while React can be used to make 3D games and 2D games like render the graphics themselves, it seems that performance wise, it's not ideal. There's someone who tried to make a ant colony simulation game and they had issues. So maybe just try it on your own and see if it works with your scope. Because remember, there's plenty of games that you don't need a lot of performance. For example, all turn-based RPG dungeon crawlers, roguelike, you could make games like that are more like visual novels, etc. So there's plenty of types of games that don't require physics, that are just relatively static graphics with just a little bit of animations. And here React would be a good fit. So now the other option is to use React to render a UI on top of your game. And also you could make the entire game with React for the web. So instead of just the UI, if your game is the is only the UI. So for example, simulation games, things like Game Dev Tycoon could potentially be made 
with just React. And I think they actually used React in that game. Not sure though. Currently for making 2D games on the web, we have game engines uh, slash frameworks like Phaser, Excalibur, and libraries like Caplay that offers a lot of out of the box in terms of systems. They have camera systems, collision systems, tile mapping systems, physics systems, etc., all ready for you to use in your games. So considering that these tools exist, it makes more sense to use React only for making the UI. And now there's so much you get for free because it's really where here where React excels. So remember, the alternative of not using React is just to make your UI within your HTML canvas using uh, either the libraries or frameworks, the game frameworks uh, way of displaying text, which means that you have to create your own UI components, etc. It works for smaller games where you just need to display a few things like your score or just a few items. But for things that get more complex, uh, I would imagine a simulation game tycoon where, for example, you you run a store and you have your items, pricing, etc. That would be a good fit for React. And by using React is really what you get by using the web platform, so the DOM itself. So you get responsiveness, easy language support, accessibility, and high quality font rendering. So something about high quality font rendering is that it, it's really impressive, uh, almost unbelievable to see how much web game frameworks and libraries struggle to render TTF fonts without looking blurry or jagged, while the DOM, so basically the web pages, the browser, is able to render sharp text really well. And also, you get localization, easier localization for free, because there are certain languages that are harder to display, for example, Arabic, where you need to be careful with how the letters are attached to each other, and the DOM, so using the browser, HTML, CSS, and React, uh, gets it right immediately. So that's something to think about. And also React is very, itself is very good at my, managing your UI states and breaking down your UI into reusable components. And also React has a lot of libraries that you can use to make your UI look and feel good. For example, you can use frame or motion to easily add animations to various parts of your UI. So in the in the end, that's why you should use React. So for the UI portion, now you could explore the graphics portion for simpler games. So tell me, I think really it shines with the UI. And probably this finding isn't, uh, you know, groundbreaking. But yeah, that's... Uh, Remember, the alternative is just not using React or anything and just making your game by placing your text uh, within the canvas, which is what you would do if you were making your game with another language. For example, in Lua and Love2D, you would write your text within the canvas or the, or the window. So that would be the default. Okay, now, to be fair, uh, React is not unique in that aspect. You could have used Svelte and Vue and make the same argument that they excel for the UI and use that. But I think like React uh, is more popular, I guess, and has an ecosystem advantage with all the libraries there are for it. So really, it's up to you. I started with React because it is what was popular and what I used for my previous job. So I just kept with it. So if you're wondering how in practice you can use React for game development, I have published previously a tutorial that, t uh, that walks you through how to make the connection a bridge between the react ui layer and your html canvas game so give that a watch if you want to learn more so thanks for watching and subscribe for more content like this for more javascript game dev related content